The source, course, and goal of love. Could, could you explain what, what the love is between a man and a woman? Oh, love, one's love. People marry to love, share one's life with each other. And those who remain separate, they, they remain separate, they enjoy. What do you mean? Is it, is it the same kind of love as, as the one you would have with God? In a much lesser degree, the absorption is not so much as in the case of God, because He's so big and so great and celestial and valueless, infinite value. Here, here the value is in one's fulfillment, one's fulfillment. If I like flower, as long as the flower is able to give joy, fine, that is my flower that is with me. Hmm? Values, values. And funnily enough, Here is the crucial point. Funnily enough, <laughs> one's love is directed to oneself. No one loves anybody else. This is, funnily enough, <laughs> it's a, it's a false statement that someone loves someone else. Absolutely not. No one loves anybody else Every current of love is directed towards the self. <laughs> Wherever, in whatever direction the stream of love flows, it only flows in the direction of the self. If the self is not satisfied, the current doesn't flow. Every, every wave of love is eternally, always directed to the Self. As long as loving pleases me, I am with the boy and playing with him and loving him and all that. But I feel, when I feel fed up, you would sit there and I'll come later and say so. It's not the boy that is being loved, it's the self that is being puffed up. It's the self that is being cherished, it's self that is being just puffed up, it's self. It's the self that is being nourished. The boy has been a means to, to create the waves for the, for the self to swell, and when the self swells in love, it becomes greater. This expansion of the self is all that is, that is dear. 
the expansion of the self is all that is dear. Something becomes a means for this expansion and the mind takes a pretext on it. I love him. Where is the love after, uh, maybe after half an hour, one hour, two hour, one year, two year, five year, and then the love is no good and go and go and... It's the pretext, it's the showpiece. The real is self. No one loves anybody. Everyone loves and feeds his self. And anything that fails to feed the self now is no more a point of love. As long the object feeds the self, so long that is dear. Not the object is dear, but the feeding of the self is dear, the process which enables the self to, to, be, to, be, to be swelling in greater and greater magnitudes, more and more range of time and space is covered by the expansion of the self, and that expansion is dear to me. Funnily enough, this is the story of love. My love for God and God and God and God and all day and night, God and God, because I feed myself with that. Myself is fed in that, uh, in that uh, feeling for Him. So He is my love and He is my love. And because here is the expansion of the influence of my territory. My self grows, increases, becomes greater and greater. And so I love God. It's the love to the self, by the self, for the self. God is just a means, I make a means of Him. And through that instrumentality of Him, I enjoy, I grow, I swell, I become greater and greater. This is the expansion of the Self. So, all currents of love are directed by the Self, for the Self, to the Self. Everything else is a wrong evaluation. This is the right evaluation. This is the reality of the story of love. It has only one direction. It has only one source. It has only one goal. And the source and the direction and the goal of love is the same one. Everything else is just a facade without a reality. Understanding shows this, experience shows this, the reality of life proves this. This is funnily enough. <laughs> this is the story of love. <laughs> you see a different picture. And this is as philosophical as this is practical. It is conceptually delineated and it can be empirically verified. <laughs> yes. Maharishi may have four flowers. 
I like to give them to four people so I can love myself four times. You should speak from here and see them. And <laughs> yes. Somebody gave me a note. It says, Goethe said, the fact that I love you is no concern of yours. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful specimen. <laughs> it's very real. It's very real. <laughs> Maharishi? It's very sweet. Maharishi? I, I love you and it's no concern of yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's very real. <laughs> it's enjoyable. <laughs> Are all other emotions directed towards the self also? Huh? Are all other emotions directed towards the self also? Oh yes, always, everything. Anger? Al always everything is directed to self, no matter what. Because every step of life is towards evolution. Goal of evolution is infinite and that is myself. Everything is directed towards the self. And not only towards, the, towards any, anybody's self, towards myself. Everything is directed towards myself. Everything. And this is the realization of every self. Hmm? Everything is directed towards myself. Hmm. Everything. Thank you, Maharishi. Hmm? Thank you. Maharishi, um, I feel strange asking... Big this. self is naturally there as a goal, and small self is there as the source. And in the process of small becoming big is, are the steps of evolution. Hmm? So the whole story is from self to self, from self to self, from self to self, from self to self. So we say everything is directed towards the self. Everything is for the self, by the self to the self. Hmm? Hmm. Jay Gurudev, uh, mm -hmm. Maharishi, when I hear your answer to the last question, I feel foolish asking my question, because my question was the fact I feel more love for others than I do for myself. Oh. And I, I hear your answer, but what I want to know now how do I go about getting this feeling that is going out? How do I feel that towards myself and self-acceptance? I go out and when I find and that out and in there is nothing devoid of myself, then I don't go anywhere, I remain everywhere. All outward directions are my own directions, all inward directions are my own directions. My love for others is as long as I enjoy to love them. My love for others is as long as I enjoy to love them. The moment I cease to enjoy loving them, they are not the points of my love and therefore all that I love them is for my own feeding, 
for my own joy. There is nothing as others. There is nothing as others. If there is any relationship, it is the relationship of the self to the self. The entire purpose of relationship is expansion of one's territory of influence. The purpose of behavior, the purpose of love is just expand, expand in your, in your structure, expand in the status of life, expansion, expansion, expansion of one's territory of influence is behavior. Love is a very delicate, very refined, very enriching, very rewarding type of behavior. I love everyone as long as I enjoy through that process. The moment I cease to, to enjoy, all currents of love stop. It's very clear, it's very clear. And therefore, all that everyone is, is in terms of myself. I am not in terms of them all. They all, together and taken separately, are in terms of myself. The relationship is there as long as the self is enjoying through that relationship. The whole thing drops the moment joy stops. So the entire field of relationship, the whole field of love here and love there and love here and love there, from the love of the ant to the love of God, the whole structure of love is dedicated to myself. This is the reality. The whole structure of love, infinite number of pyramids of love hanging in space here and rising on the earth here and uh, hanging in the air here, whatever, all the structures of love that I build, I build in terms of myself. This is the story of love. Hmm? A vision of life, clear. Maharishi, are you saying then when people feel that they are dependent upon others for love that this does not exist? It exists, but in reality it exists in terms of oneself. It exists, because we can't say love doesn't exist, it exists. But where does it exist? When we try to locate it, we find it exists in the self. Where does it exist? Gold, from where it comes? Comes from the mine, fine. That is the source of that. All infinite way, currents of love, here, there, everywhere, where they are located, where they get life, where they get energy, towards what they are directed, they are directed to their source. In the self is the source of all the currents of love. The goal is right back to the source. The whole journey is a facade of no value. The starting point is the reaching point and both of them are in the self. That is the that is the field of love, that is the source of love, that is the goal of love. <laughs>